Hey y'all, so in this video I'm going to fit three DROs to the old Centec Miller machine. I'm going to fit the two of the slide types to the bed or the table and I'm going to fit a vernier caliper cheap as chips to the quill. I'm also going to fit a three phase one horsepower motor and an inverter. The inverter was sent to me actually by a good friend of mine Matt from Reaper Bladeworks. Cheers for that buddy. I've made this little bracket which I'm going to mount to the bottom of the caliper um, and I, don't, I do not really want to drill into that quill or the, the body of that quill so what I intend to do is literally just put some epoxy on that and hold it in place because there is not much tension or force on that on that bracket and I'm sure that'll be more than good enough. Right, I epoxied that plate on, I've just done that. So that's the plate and I've made a little plate there that, that uh, locks onto that quill lock nut. So that is where that is going to sit. Okay. Uh, and that's, I think that is the maximum extent of the travel on this. So I'll, I'll cut that off there, I don't need all that lot sticking up there. I'll probably cut them two tabs off there because I'll, I'll end up catching them no doubt. I think I'm just going to double sided tape that on there and I just got that one mounted Forty eight, forty eight millimeters. Spot on. Well, moving on, I have fitted the new motor to the milling machine and it's difficult to show you because it, it is literally right under the body of the mill. So there you can maybe just see the bottom of the motor there. It goes on a hinged table and it lifts up right up underneath the mill itself. It's a nightmare getting it on, believe me. If you've got to work with those motors up there and put bolts in, it's on. My buddy Matt sent me the best present ever, so he sent me down this uh, K-back drive for the motor which has now been wired up uh, and is working. It's the motor running. I could gear this motor straight to the head itself but I think I'd lose torque when the motor was running at slow speed so I'm, I'm not even going to attempt that I'm just going to wire it, gear it through the mill itself and we'll probably just uh, run it on full power all the time this drive is not staying on this mill what I do I intend to put this drive on my belt grinder and put the belt grinder drive on this because I don't really need the reverse function on this mill the reverse function is only for when the horizontal head is being used and I don't intend to use that. My next one is going on here and that's one of these proper scales. So what I intend to do on here is drill into the knee, put a little couple of little screws in there uh, and that's the travel is on the center of that sort of lug there. So that's as far back as it goes and it extends out to around about there. So what I plan to do is cut this off here and this bracket which sits on the end I plan to mount it that way and fix that bracket on there like so so that we can get that mounted and then I've just got to rig something to lock onto that lug nut well, I've got this one mounted in, I'm not leaving that there, uh, fixed to the back of the knee and turned that bracket round and fixed it there, made a little bracket up, I ended up drilling just into that uh, round part there, so if ever I did want to put that in, I can still operate it, but that, uh, that's working good now, so much better, you know, 
just enough clearance there that's where it stops that's the extent of the travel and it can go all the way in I'll clip them wires back when I get the back one on and that's where it goes back to and that's just enough clearance to put the DRO in the back there so the next one is the big long fella I think this one should be much more straightforward because that one is I've just got to literally screw that one to the back of the table and attach the plate to the back of that I'm hoping I don't have to take the um, table off I'm just hoping I can get a drill in there you know well as you can see I took the table off the mill it's relatively easy to do that so all I've got to do with this is cut it down a little bit and I can mount that onto the back and then I've just got to make some kind of bracket uh, drill and thread that a plate onto there and fix it onto the back of there and that's that done quite simple I wanted to change the motor on this mill, I think I mentioned it when I first got it that I was going to put a three phase motor on it but what hastened that up was kind of last week I noticed that when I switched the mill on um, the mill was like kind of hunting, it was whoa, 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 whoa. and I thought that was purely the motor that was going on me well I put the three phase on, switched her on same thing, wow, 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 we wasn't getting up to speed totally. I checked the gear to the gearbox, the drive, that drive gear there, that pulley wheel, and that's fine, there's nothing wrong there, there's no stiffness on that, so it's not the motor lugging out on that. I eventually came to the conclusion that it's this belt, it's one of these linked belts, and you see how shiny it is there. And after it had been running for kind of just one minute, I put my hand onto the end of the pulley on the motor and the motor pulley was really hot, very, very hot. So this belt's been kind of slipping. I think over the years it's just worn itself to the shape of the pulley and now it's just slipping around because it can't grip. Well, <clears throat> I've just ordered, I ordered a new pulley on Saturday. It's just arrived today. So I am going to fit this and hopefully this will solve that problem, resolve that issue. Well I suppose the good thing is I've got me I've got me three phase motor on but I've now got a spare single phase motor which can be utilized for something else. Straight away guys, I can tell that is perfect. Let's do some milling with our new DRO setup. Let's go, we've got a three mil cutter in.
not held very well that just a little test piece really I was uh, just three mil increments moving the mill along and then didn't set any depth on it but yeah three mil cutter at three mil intervals uh, for a finger grip thumb ramp well there's one thing I have noticed here and this has kind of been the same since I got the mill the belt is just touching the back of the And when I sight the belt down, it's kicking over towards the motor. So I'm, unfortunately, I'm going to have to take the motor off again and bring the motor in so that there's clearance there. The, the pulley, the wheel, will not come in any further. So it's down to the motor. I guess whoever put it on first has got it in misalignment. Um, and I've just put it back in the same place, which is misaligned. You should check these things. Well, there we go guys, I fitted those two readouts to a bracket that I screwed to the back wall. I clipped all the cables back, everything's nice and tidy. I've used the mill quite a few times now since I've put these DROs on. It's just fantastic having those readouts and the accuracy. It's just been awesome, love it. The mill is running greatly. I've moved the motor, uh, the belt's not tripping or catching now. It's just awesome. Well, the next video up will be a glide rail that I'm making for my camera and I'll show you some uh, milling operations that I do using the DROs. There's a clip here. Thanks to my patrons. I will uh, see you soon, guys. Bye for now. So this shot is the camera literally just resting on there under its own power gliding down that rail, which I've got to stop before it hits the block. <laughs>